Lava Lounge on Hot FM Lagos. Tune into the Lava Lounge with a happy very cha cha. I'm here at you 3 p.m. and at this moment, I've got guests in the studio with me because Art X Live is coming up. I have the producer of the show. You're producing the show, right? Yeah, I'm producing yes. music for the show. Okay, TMX. Oh, use of English, whatever. I have TMX in the studio with me. He's producing the music for the show and also yeah. the talented Lady Donnelly with me. She'll be performing as well. But before then, I want to know what are your thoughts on the Nigerian entertainment industry? And as a producer, you've mm-hmm. seen um, different genres of music come mm-hmm. in different styles. What are your thoughts on the current vibe in the industry? I think it's really awesome right now. And more than ever, we found a way to balance everything i'm really mm-hmm. key on balance like you know balancing influences and everything but still staying original okay so you have people doing that really amazing music and you can still tell it's african it's nigerian but at the same time it can stand anywhere in the world and that's that's great man okay you know something about um nigeria i, I think we're even dividing our afro beats into different genres we're seeing altair we're seeing the zanko so which one of these type of sounds do you enjoy producing the most i mean the thing is what is altair anyways well, people like Buju, like they say, or people like World, like Lady Donnelly. Do you classify yourself Lady Donnelly so as an Alte? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've gotten, you've gotten that question too many times. Uh, well, I guess. You do? Um, I mean, like, I'm part of the Alte community. Yeah? Yeah, I would say that. Okay, um, so but I don't think I make Alte music. Okay, I don't, so what is the Alte yeah. community? Um, I think, like, what that stands for what it stood for was just like a group of um, young kids just like making music without the layering of what the industry was slash yeah. is in the sense that a lot of us were just putting music on SoundCloud mm-hmm. and it was just like okay we're putting music on SoundCloud and we're organizing our own shows mm-hmm. um, people would come for these shows we were listening buying our merch and it was just it just kind of symbolized freedom and just like being able to create by yourself for yourself and just like pushing yourself when no one else wanted to push us okay now and that is you know coming out right and starting out right yeah that's that's for me that's what it is tmx you wanted to explain before she uh, spoke yeah Dunia has done the perfect <laughs> job to be honest i mean i don't think any music is out there like if anybody who is deemed as hotel right now goes to la or something they'll okay. fit in like perfectly yeah. they won't look different those people who have just chosen a different path to like express themselves like something against what is popular or common you know okay. but it's amazing music at the end of the day everything is great okay i understand uh the way nigerian music is you know the industry right now is uh what's the word the way it's structured now um we see that different types of music is coming out and people are doing fantastically well but what would you say is the thing your challenge in the music industry what would you say is that main challenge as a producer in the industry Hmm, I think structure is still the biggest challenge. Yeah. Everyone is making really amazing music, but we haven't really, you know, caught mm-hmm. up with the world, like how to generate revenue and everything. So I find myself still educating people. Like the little I know, mm-hmm. I still share with people like, ah, you can make bad, like, so you don't have to, you know. But I feel like soon, Sha, we'll figure it out. Everything will fall in place. Everything <laughs> will fall in place. All right, Lady Donnelly, as a female in the industry, um, have you, what's that smile? Huh? What is that smile? As a female industry, would you say that there are more challenges as a female as opposed to being a man? Um, <clears throat> I think there definitely are. But like for me, like my mantra is, I'm in a space where they're lesser of me in the terms that like they're lesser female artists at the top mm-hmm. to look up to. And for me, it's like as a woman in the industry, as a woman in any space, like for us to, you know be the face that you see we have to have more women putting each other on okay. be it's from radio be it from the top person be it art in whatever way we just like we need more female artists putting other female artists on um my album i just dropped an album a couple months ago and most of the art features on it are female artists like myself mm-hmm. um who are as known as me lesser known than, than me etc but for me they're amazing amazing artists and the reason for this is just like why not yeah. You know, I listen to a lot of albums um, and all the features are men. Mm-hmm. Um, female artists drop music as well. All the features are men. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, it's just like we need to put each other on if we want to count and yeah. if we want to matter more in the spec of the industry. Okay. So I think it's definitely more challenging because at every phase that you go, be it producers, artists, there are more men in the room. Mm-hmm. And the conversation for me is just like putting more women in the space 
by educating more women in terms of like production like if you want to be a producer like um you can be a producer mm -hmm. um and i feel like a lot of women don't go into that because there's no there's not enough representation so like they see production and all they see is men so it's like yeah. okay i want to be a singer because mm -hmm. everybody i see that's producing is a man but i think it's just about enlightening and representing and at the end of the day women have to be the forefront of that conversation that's right but do you think um a lot of other women have the same mindset as you do on as to putting other women on because what <coughs> we see most of the time is people saying women are bringing each other down <laughs> Um, honestly, that narrative is so dead mm -hmm. because like, you know, men are fighting men all the time. <laughs> like, and I think it's just an, a narrative that, um, patriarchy just uses to mm -hmm. pit women against each other. I don't think enough women are putting each other on, but I think that that's also as a result of patriarchy in terms of like, it's just that narrative being fed to people or women are fighting women. Yeah. But just to understand that if we as a collective want to do better we need to do better for each other okay and I, yeah that's that's what it is for me <laughs> all right well, don't leave the yeah go on <laughs> <laughs> that's that's well wow but what are your thoughts on it as well man everybody make dope music if you see people who it feels like they are being undermined pull the next person up be it a man be it a woman but definitely it's clear that women are being undermined every time and we can't act like we don't know Mm -hmm. It's going on so it's not like you know just pull people up like hey i think you're dope it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman but most especially especially like women are disadvantaged okay to be very honest with you like facts clear so just you know help if you can and if you have to fight for it fight okay how if are you, you helping listen i'm equal <laughs> i'm equal opportunity if you're dope you're dope okay at the same time i won't just pick you because you're a woman okay All right. do you know what i'm saying it's just everybody do the right thing, like put the next person up. Disadvantaged people fight for them. Disadvantaged people fight for yourself. It doesn't work for you to work for the next generation. So we can't act like it doesn't exist. It does exist. Thank you. All right, so uh, you're producing the show. Let's go back to Azex Live. Yep, yep, yep. You're producing yep. the show. So what has been the most exciting and most challenging uh, thing about this production? I think it's bringing different people together. Okay. Different amazing people and trying to balance it. Like working the flow of the show, who's going to start, who's going to do what, how is it going to sound like, how is it going to feel like, that's amazing. Okay. Having to work with all these amazing artists, like, I love it. So these are experiences that you take on for the longest. Yeah. Okay, definitely. all right. Lady Donnie, I want to play your next, this song uh, is Sofa Sofa. Let's talk about it for a second. Are you going to be performing this one on Artex Live? Yeah, Max, so am I going to be performing this one at the Attics Live? Just come watch the show, I uh -uh, think. You just give us something. Are you performing this yeah, song? Yeah, if you want to, if you want to hear it, then come and you know. Um. Mm, okay, yeah, let me play. This. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to give me anything, but let me play this song, "Suffer Suffer" by Lady Londi. My name is Chacha. I'll be right back. Lava Lounge on Hot FM Lagos. Lady Donnelly right there with a the sweet tune called Sofa Sofa. I absolutely enjoyed playing that one and listening to it. Not just because she's here, but because <laughs> I did genuinely enjoy it. And it's amazing. Um, did you actually come from Abuja? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Abuja. Oh, so you moved to Lagos? Uh, I wouldn't say that I've moved to Lagos. Per oh, okay, se. you're just here for the meantime. I'm just grinding. Oh, so how <laughs> long have you been here? Um, So basically, I'm very nomadic. Mm -hmm. So... I spent like two, two months in different places. I wow. just move around. Do you have a problem? <laughs> do I have a problem? <laughs> we stay in one place, yes. Yeah, you do have yeah, a yeah, So uh, do you have a problem concentrating on one thing, uh, different things at a time? Um, I can concentrate. I, I, I have a problem with concentrating on one thing. Yeah. At the same, at one, like. Just, but you can't be in one place. At, yeah. You're a special being. I don't know. Like when I'm around, when I'm somewhere for too long, I just start like fidgeting. I'm shaking. So okay. I need to move. Okay. So when are you leaving Lagos? You can't leave now. December is around the corner. This is I'll the leave and come back. So like you I just need to take a breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only that's a rich rich person's lifestyle. I'm There's only you. rich people that can Like, move. didn't you hear my song? So far. Wait, I didn't come wait. here to so far. It just moved. We like. have Bouger in the studio. Why is he looking at me? Oh no. <laughs> but at TMX, so what would you say is the creative process for you? Like what has it been like? Uh for Artex Live, for me it's been balanced, man. Yeah. We got balance um, Everything got makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it is for me. Just balance. Okay. Making sweet music. Okay. Okay. Sweet, sweet music. Jam. So what is the creative process? What has been your creative process? Okay, I didn't answer the you, question. Do you know you're, you're, you're right in the middle of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Boji is late and he's trying to own the whole studio. What kind of human being is that? 
Everyone. All right, <laughs> real one. So TMX, you were saying something. Uh, yeah, I say? said balance. That's the approach, man. Okay. Just balance it out. Okay. Make everything work. Okay. Uh, Lady Donnelly, this question is, it says, do you think the development of Artex Live has influenced creatives in Nigeria to be more open with their craft? <sighs> um, hmm, that's a very vast question. Um, I think Art X has inspired people has inspired artists to want to do better in terms of as X production is phenomenal. Yeah. Like um the last couple of years I've never been but I've seen videos, I've seen pictures and every single time I see it I'm like, yo, I want to be on that stage. So like since like the last two years I've been like, I want to be on that stage. I want to be on that stage. So I'm really thankful that this year I finally get to be on that stage. But I think it's something to aspire to. And I think a lot of creatives who see it and um, see what it's about and see yeah. what it represents will be inspired to think that, okay, I could be on this stage. Or even if I'm not on this stage, I could curate an experience that will give the same or like will create such an impact to people as well. So I think um, ArtX is very interesting in the way that it has inspired the creative community. Okay. Um, yeah. That is fantastic. TMX, uh, What's so up? you've. <laughs> <laughs> You've been opportune as against all of us to listen to all of the songs that are going to be performed. The music is <laughs> bad. <laughs> you didn't even Man. let me land. You didn't even let me land. So, okay, you've answered it already. So, what? <laughs> the music is bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's amazing music, man. Sorry. Okay, all right. We have Buju finally, uh, who was quite early. Buju, what happened? Um, the police Excuse stopped me. Oh, they were whining me. Oh. As usual. <laughs> As usual, why do they always have to stop you? What is it about you? Um, I don't know. This one, I think this one was with the taxi fire guy. Mm -hmm. um, he was passing like a, a part of the tour gate because of the fast lane. He had the tag quite all right, but I, I really don't know why they stopped him though. You know, okay. and it was, it just it helped me back. So you couldn't just tell them, do you know who I am? As in, do you know, I wouldn't say the word, ah, there's gone. <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so oh, Bujo, you're no. you're you're an amazing performer. Thank you're an amazing you. singer. Hey. As... <laughs> that was your problem. Relax. Yes. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about you now. You're performing at at X Live. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, your video was the first one that I saw, and I'm like, oh yeah, Bujo is there. I should be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really... So, what is it like? Uh, what has been the uh, practice? What's the practice? The rehearsal for the show. How has it been like up until now? Um, we've been recording. Yeah, a lot. Okay, majorly. Um, for me, RX was it's a big stage and a grand platform, mm -hmm. and it's, it was something I wanted to do last year. But I mean, seeing how the turnout of the show, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So I was opportune to do this year, and I'm looking forward to an amazing show. Uh, RX for me, I mean, the whole process, like till now, has been enjoyable. Okay, you know, it's been fair. It's been we're working with TMX1 he's an amazing producer and hey. we've been <laughs> making fire records so yeah when he tells you like ah it's bad oh, it's really bad. bad okay so now from, from what you just said I just got something off so that means you guys are not performing the songs that we know because you're recording again mm. TMX, um, TMX. so it's <laughs> I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, you balance. No, but tell me, you guys are not performing <laughs> the same <laughs> songs. I told you, you balance, <laughs> balance. Um, yes, it's original songs alongside songs that you guys already know. Um, and yeah. some TMX or twists somewhere okay. on certain songs. Okay. Just, you know, balance. Okay, just in case you don't know who I'm with, uh, aside from TMXO and Lady Donnie, the talented people, of course, I've got Bougie here with me. You already know it's one of my fave tunes to play to the extent that I was asked, even if I don't play this song, I'm being asked, why are you to play spiritual today? So it's coming up next. Let's take this break and we'll be right back. Lava Lounge on Hot FM Lagos. And the song is huge. I love it. It's spiritual. Bougie. My next song is going to bust your head, Dodo. Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever. I, 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 <laughs> You have bragging rights, the no, way. Really? You, you you have bragging rights. I'll give you that one. I feel you. I know that you had Commander in Chief and a host of other songs before this mm -hmm. one, but what would you say has changed after this song? Because I know how huge this song, it, uh, this song is. It actually got you a nomination as well. Yeah. So, what would you say has changed? Um, a lot. Yeah. Um, the attention. Yeah. You know, if. Spiritual, you know, just opened me to a, a different world, a different buzz. The spiritual uh, world, right? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, <laughs> in some way. Um, it also brought, like, a couple of challenges my way because um, a lot of people are really looking for 
what's next after this. Okay. And the the crowd I've appealed to, mm -hmm. um, the like they say the street and then the okay, the, no, <laughs> so the, the island. I, I know you, you, you don't classify <laughs> yeah, yourself. Yeah, li literally, I was like, yeah, yeah, for and now I have to satisfy two people, mm -hmm. you know. So at this point, I feel like after spiritual, everything just became tasking and. You know, the attention was there. People are actually watching out like, oh, what next? There's, there's this guy. So, yeah, man. Like, spiritual just changed did a lot. It. it changed it. it well, you're lot. dropping something soon. Uh, mm. November 3rd. I just gave out this. No, <laughs> November 25th. This Friday. 25th? This, Friday. this is October. Yeah, October. 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 Uh, okay, yeah, October. Uh, <laughs> no, no, November is RX Live. Okay. Yeah. November is RX Live. November 2nd is RX Live. Second. Okay, but in the meantime... Um, when is this video dropping? Mm. I know the story of the so, video, but when is it dropping? If, let, let me be really honest with you. We've shot the video. The video is ready. Mm -hmm. But, like, I kept it on hold because, like, I don't feel I'm ready for film yet. Oh, you're not you're, ready for what? <laughs> no, I, let, me, let, me, you, let me break it down to you like this. Like, <laughs> recently I was harassed. Not, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Let me, let me not call it harassment. It's supposed to be artist lifestyle. But mm. <laughs> recently I was going to the studio and I just got off at the bus stop. Mm-hmm. The the advantage I have of having the record as big as spiritual is, mm -hmm. and I'm not having the video is, people don't know what I look like. Okay. So um, well, it's, when I it's got, an internet age, yeah, you're very much. Yourself. I promise you, I promise you, there's still some people that still don't know what I look like. But okay. I mean, I get to the bus stop and somebody, somebody shouts legit. Mm -hmm. As in, that's the guy that sang with Latan. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> like there was too much. There was so much. They tore my shirt, <gasps> and I mean. It just showed me I wasn't just ready for the life. Cause but if you're not ready for that, then why are you doing music? By you the know, way, if you don't know what he looks like, you can find that out right now. Yes. Just go on our website, www.podfm.ng forward slash Lagos. You will see Bougie, you will see Lady Dolly, you will see TMXO. So, so you can snatch their bags. <laughs> snatch everything. What do you mean by that? TMXO, what? You? You that face in front of you like. Yeah, because the owner of you like like this. People don't know. Yes, your face. I don't know what that is. High rise of solo boys. Give me more. Tell me But if you don't know, just just log in right now. You will see them. Please, they need to stop hiding. So my question is, why are you doing this if you're not ready? Why aren't you doing lagbaja? No, no, no. Like I like I like making music. Music is my life. This is how I breathe. You know, but the. There's, there's there's a lot of attention, especially with the industry mm -hmm. and how everybody is trying to, you know, pop. Yeah. You feel, unlike me, I'm trying to make music for people to listen to and actually feel and make money off it digitally. Yeah. I can when I can. <laughs> you feel, and it comes with a lot of attention. So mm -hmm. that only makes my job a little hard. Like now, I had to get here on a bike. Okay. On the mass transport. And Which one is the master? I mean, no, no, no. You know, there's this new, there's this new wave of bikes now. I can call Okada bike. Okay, okay, you, okay, you, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my yeah, yeah, yeah. bike. <laughs> you feel so? Um, if people saw me on that kind of stage, it, yeah. it just takes a video to say, ah, that's celebrities. Da, da, da. But no, I'm running late for something, <laughs> and you people cannot whine me on this traffic. You yeah. Feel? So yeah, um. Fame is something else, but I just really want to enjoy my journey. Okay. So yeah, the spiritual video is still going to drop. Um, you might as well just start wearing a mask. Early November. Yeah, I mean, like what that is it, yeah I Lady, Lady Dolly, do you I think you. what he's saying makes any sense? It does. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, to each his own. Um, I feel like what he's saying does make a lot of sense. Yeah. And, um, it, like, I mean, handling fame is like one thing. Because I'm like, I'm very introverted. Mm -hmm. And um. I go out to space and I'm like people know who I am. They're like, oh, let's, let's take a picture. How did you make this song? This, that, that. And obviously, like, I have to talk to them. Yeah. I have to just do them and everything. But like, in my head or in my body, like, I'm in my <laughs> shell. So I'm just like, ah. Um, it happens. But yeah, for me, it's just like, it's one of those, it's one of the consequences of. Um, okay. You know. So would you say being a, an artist, you have to have two different lives or, you know, dual lives or you have to have an alter ego or something like that? Because there are some people who you'd say are very, very shy. But once they get on that stage, they kill it. That's me, like, to be mm -hmm. honest. Like, I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty shy. Now I'm opening up. But like, yeah, when I'm on stage, that's Lady Donnelly. When I'm off stage, that's 
with me. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Max, so you, 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 you probably don't care. Nobody knows me, I beg. <laughs> but as a producer, if you had that spotlight on you, would it matter to you? Um, I feel as, like, as a producer in this region, you need, anyway, really, you need that brand, to be honest, so you can yeah. do things beyond music. Word. Like, if people don't, you know, associate your brand, it's going to be really hard if you have okay. to wait for the next reality check or wait for the next advance. Yep, yep. So you guys give them. <laughs> you have to try. Okay. Brand power is very important. But yeah, like on a normal day, I just like to be in my room. And chill. Uh, on that duvet. Man, they should know me. My face needs to be in everybody's <laughs> face. I'm yeah. beautiful. Uh, Are you guys joking? Doing, <laughs> you guys do. You guys do. <laughs> to be honest. To be, yeah, but uh, TMX, so uh, tell me something. There's something about producers. I, I, I'm still not getting that whole thing about producers having songs. Of what benefit is it to a producer to have a song featuring an artist? Um, anyway, regardless, if you produce a song for an artist, you still own part of the song. Mm -hmm. You own your musical composition. You own part of the masters. Yeah. Regardless. So, that's still your song. So, either the artist pushes it <laughs> or you push it <laughs> now your song. But everybody has what they want to gain from whatever move they make. Okay. Sometimes it feels like this artist is not ready to push this song. And, hey, like, I feel like I can do wonders with this song. I DJ as well, so okay. I can... <laughs> I can put out talent. the internet like okay I have a bunch of talents in the studio with me and it's crazy I'm feeling like I'm tapping some of their energy <laughs> into myself so uh, tell me something Out to X Live feels like a different show it feels like a whole different show because we have a music producer producing mm -hmm. new music to be on the stage what are you looking forward to on, for that day me personally I just want to see how everything plays out like everything we've done in the studio I just want to see it live and just feel like oh yeah we killed that okay that's what right. I like to see just see it come alive Okay, That's Lady it. Donnie? Um, I'm looking forward to the production of the show. Mm -hmm. So, like, the stage, the lights, um, the art, you know, it's an immersive art experience as well. So, like, I'm I'm really pumped to be on that stage. Okay. And um, I personally, I'm going to be adding new things to my live sets from that moment forward. So, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing how, like, everything, the synergy of all the components. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> I'm actually looking forward for the, to the record I have with TMXO. Um, okay. hey. What is it like? Give me ah. a hint. Give me a hint. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Go this on my Instagram. Go on my Instagram. Uh, I'll I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust me. Like, um, if 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 anything that we really paid attention to is something that everybody, you know, you listen to the record and you should find your, you know, you should just you should just find your cool in one in any of them because okay. I've heard everything and I can assure you it's it's amazing from the start to the finish. Okay. You feel and yeah. It's going to be amazing stuff. Just come buy that ticket. <laughs> buy the ticket. Bring cash. Bring okay, cash. okay. This is sales rep yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, okay. I just want to ask this last question. It's not anything that has to do with. Um, it's not anything that has to do with Artex Live or music. The last time I had a bunch of people here, we got into a conversation and he ended up having um, another conversation in a conversation hmm. about men. Hmm. And I'm wondering, is there a problem with men who cry? Or what do you believe about men or think about men who cry? Do you cry? I cry. You cry? I'm going to cry you. Okay, because uh, can you remember the, day, in the studio? Oh, in the studio, um, these guys were legit arguing with me. All four of them but say no men shouldn't cry men don't cry what do you think lady dolly cry if you need to like, <laughs> yo, like, oh, she, i just wanted she, to find that out i won't cry you. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think men should hold back or, or things when you say. cry finish wash your face go outside my guy alpha alpha you know move on with your life okay i need to show this video to the guys that i had on thursday cry you <laughs> it was an argument all right so for two to you guys not you to me i don't care about you right now uh -huh. but to the creative talents right there <laughs> with me. what should we expect from you um aside Artex life of course that's coming up shortly what is coming up for you um you said you dropped an album um yeah so i just dropped my debut album it's called enjoy your life mm -hmm. um out in i just dropped it in august yeah. and um i'm about to drop a remix of my song cash featuring david o so Ooh. that's what's happening next okay that's big how about you <laughs> Would you? I I must actually know everything, um, but continue. <laughs> so um, I, I promised myself that to the to the end of the year it's going to be non-stop bangers. Mm -hmm. That's from twenty fifth to like the end. Okay. I've singles like lined up. Like, maybe I might I might throw another feature like at the end of the year, but for now, I'm looking forward to an amazing show of okay. Art X and you know 
one else, another one in Abuja. I'm just, I'm just performing at the at And the now point. you're going on tours. You're going you up know, and down. That kind of are you living the life? <laughs> are you living the life? Thank you guys. Help me, help you, help you, 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 you. Don't mind him. Why don't you just adopt this whole mask thing? Ma, nah, nah, that, that's 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 a lavish thing. Probably when I'm letting you. We know your face already. We know your face. We know your face. There's Trust nothing me, you're I've, hiding. I've casted, I've casted just cast, a little fully bit. Casted. <laughs> fully casted. 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 You know? <laughs> you know, take it off and all of that. Cast it off. So, one more thing. What is it about the music industry that you both enjoy? Not you two. <laughs> <laughs> this is HR. <laughs> I don't hate you. You're my G for life. Is there any, anything about the, the industry. industry that I enjoy? The amount of creatives you get to see or meet. Right. You know, like it's it's, it's the difference and it's the diversity too. Mm-hmm. Um, I was at the Headies on Saturday. And, yeah, I was at Headies on Saturday, and I got to see a lot of people personally. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's you, do. or the, oh, you make this type of music. Yeah. Oh, wow, how do you how do you come up with this? How do you do that? And it, it's amazing where you just find that amount of creative people in that space. space yeah, you know, and yeah. And pr- probably the the love you get from like from them, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's one thing your manager takes you to an artist or meet this artist, yeah. and the artist like, whoa, you're the I one did. that whoa, I love your shit. Yeah. You understand? A part of his language. Very, yeah. I love you. I love your stuff. And you know, it, it's inspirational because you feel like, rah, I, I was working to this. Yeah, track, I needed to get like, to this level. You feel so. Yeah, that's 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 all about it. Okay. Um, I think um, he said everything I would say to be honest it's like the diversity the you know like there's different people making different types of sounds um, mm-hmm. and when you know there's synergy of those sounds just like um, it's an interesting experience so, okay yeah. just being in this space with Bouju and Lady Dolly it's kind of making me feel like I could do this music thing <laughs> even if I don't have the voice I have TMXO here to help me <laughs> <laughs> okay TMXO this last question goes to you hit me um, so for somebody like me who sings like a drowning horse um, how are you going to help my life <laughs> it's the same thing the way you cry in the shower I sing in the shower I enjoy it everybody can sing sing yeah? Okay, so you think even if I have a horrible voice, sing, voiceover, enjoy yourself. This, sing. this guy enjoy is a corner. Life, this is this sing, is stuff. Demo said, "Just want to chop money." You want sing, to chop money? Go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, if Thank you want to hear more of their music and uh, hear what TMXO has produced for them, I'm actually excited because I, I really like your sound. So I'm wondering why you do that. I'm wondering how he's gonna actually switch this up or for Artex Live. I'm looking forward to that Look one. You there. So Artex Live is an invite only show, but you can win tickets just by going to their Instagram and Twitter handle that is at Artex Lagos and also just check hashtag Artex Live tickets from social media. You most likely could win one. And uh, they'll be performing. We have TMXO, the producer, Buju, um, Lady Donnelly World, um, Daffe, and also Joy Matashi is going to be there. The show is called Making the Maverick. And it's, yeah, it's at Federal Palace on the 2nd of November, 10 p.m. till late. So it's like a, you know, turn up thing. Get ready, mm-hmm. get set. And from all of us, it's bye. Bye, guys. Give them. <laughs> Give them. Lava Lounge on Hot FM Lagos.